Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at tariffs. Now, specifically water and electricity. And I would highly suggest that you watch every single example we're about to do, but especially the one that I'm going to show you at the end of this lesson, because that one was taken straight from an exam question. And it's a it's a it's an exam question that I've seen quite a few times but it can be a bit weird, and I'll show you exactly how to use that one at the end, okay? But first, let's start with the more basic examples. So a tariff is pretty much just where they give you different pricing for different um, options or categories. So for example, um, here's our water tariff. Now, I'm gonna show you quite a few examples of this water tariff, and you'll see it's pretty easy, okay? But let me show you how it works. So here they give us, this is for water. So water is measured in kiloliters, okay? So kiloliters, um, one kiloliter is the same as 1,000 liters, okay? And they're giving you the price per kiloliter. So this is nine rand 50, and it excludes VAT. It's very important when you sit with your question in the exam or your test, sometimes they're gonna include VAT, as I've done in some examples uh, in this lesson, um, like over here, and then sometimes we're gonna exclude VAT, okay? So look out for that at every single time, and for this lesson, we will assume that all VAT is gonna be 15%. So let's see how this works. How much would Sipo owe if his household uses 33 kiloliters? Now, what a lot of learners do wrong is they say, okay, that's 33 kiloliters, so they're just gonna go straight to here. But that's not the way it works. You have to always start at the first one. And so in here, there is nine kiloliters. From zero to nine is nine kiloliters, okay? So I'm gonna put a nine over there. Then from here to here, if you say 25 minus nine, that'll be, 16. So there's 16 over here. So 9 plus 16 is 25. So we're now at 25. And then from here to here is going to be uh, 5. Okay, so 9 plus 16 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Now we're trying to get to 33. So that means inside this category, we're only going to go from 30 up to 33. Okay, because that's where we stop. So in this category, we're not using 30 all the way to 45, we're only going from 30 to 33. So that means we're only gonna use three kiloliters in that category. So if you then had to go add up all of these numbers, you'll see that it adds up to 33 kiloliters. Okay, so you always start over here. So for this category, they charge you nine rand 50. So we're gonna say nine, because it's nine rand 50 per kiloliter, but we used nine kiloliters. So we're gonna say nine times nine rand 50. And if you calculate that, you get 85 rand 50, 85 rand 50. Then in this category, we used 16. And you see how it's getting more expensive there. Then it gets more expensive, more expensive, more expensive, and more expensive. The reason is that the government or the municipalities, they're trying to stop you from wasting water. So when you use less water, only here, then they charge you a smaller amount. But as you start using larger amounts of water, then they start increasing the price. Because when you're going into the 25 to 30 area, they're gonna charge you more, and then you see how it's just increasing. Okay, so in this category, we're gonna use 16 kiloliters, and each kiloliter is 11 rand 22. So if you had to work that out, that'll be um, 179 rand and 52 cents. Now in this category, it's gonna be uh, five times 14.95, and so that'll be 74 rand and 75 cents. And then in this category, we only use three kiloliters, and that'll be 23 rand and five cents. And so that'll be 69 rand uh, 15. So your total amount of water, the, the, the total amount due, you'll just go plus these numbers together. And that'll give us a total of 408 rand. Whoops, let's write that better. 408 rand and 92 cents. And what's important is that you realize we don't need to go and add any VAT because they said, how much would SIPO owe 
that exclusive, okay? So we can leave it like that. But if they wanted to us wanted us to include um, that, then you would use the then you would have to add on the VAT. Okay, and there are some examples that we're gonna do that have that, but for this one they just wanted the VAT exclusive, meaning there's no VAT included. Okay, so here's our next one. Now it says how much would Megan owe? Now it says VAT inclusive if her household uses 29 kiloliters of water. So 29 is somewhere over here, but we start up here, okay? So in this category, we use nine. In this category, we said we use 16. Now, if you say nine plus 16, we've already used 25. So that means in this category, we're only gonna use four because nine in this category, 16 in this category, if you add that together, that means they've already used 25, and then 25 plus 4 is what gives you 29. Okay, so you're not going to use all of the 25 to 30, you're just going to use 4. So now we can go work out the cost. So we can say 9 kiloliters multiplied by 9.50. Uh, we can add VAT at the end, okay? Um, it's easier to do it like that. So that'll be 85 rand 50, just like we got in the previous example, okay? And then here we're gonna get um, 16 multiplied by 11.22, and that's gonna give 179.52, and then this one we're gonna do um, four multiplied by 14.95, and that'll be 59 Rand 80. Okay, now if we're to go add all of that together, we end up with 324.82. Okay, but now they want us to add the VAT. Now remember we said we're gonna assume that VAT is 15%, and what we've learned in previous lesson is that if you wanna include VAT, just multiply this number by 1.15, the 1.5 is the 15%, and then to remove VAT, you would divide. So we want to add or include VAT over here, so we're gonna say um, 324.82, 82 multiplied by 1.15 and that'll be uh, 373 rand let's round to two decimals and 54 cents here's our last water example and then we're going to go to electricity okay so this is Lorato and it says um, how much would Lorato owe if her household uses 51 kiloliters okay so that's all the way down here so we need to go here first you start with 9 inside that one 16 inside there 5 inside there 15 inside there and then to go from 45 or well, if you add these all together 9 plus 16 is 25 25 plus 5 is 30 30 plus 15 is 45 so to go from 45 to 51 you're going to have to use 6 inside that one so that if you added all those numbers together it would be 51 okay and so now we're going to go do the same thing 9 multiplied by 9.50 um, 16 multiplied by 11.22 5 multiplied by 14.95, uh, 15 multiplied by 23.05, and then 6 multiplied by 25.36. Okay, and then I'll quickly go get the totals. So there we have all the totals for each category, and then if we go add all of these numbers over here together, then we add up to, what we'll add up to, 837.5. Eight. Okay, now remember that this excludes VAT, but they want the price with VAT. So like I showed you over here, to include VAT, you multiply by 1.15. So we're going to multiply this by 1.15. And so we end up with 963.33 Rand. Okay, so that is what Lorato would pay. Okay, let's move on to electricity. Electricity is pretty much exactly the same. It's just that we don't use kiloliters, we use kilowatt hours, okay? And then here we sometimes, um, you must always read this carefully. So this one includes VAT, but this isn't um, rand per kiloliter. Now it's cents per kilowatt hour, okay? So, and, and, and you're also gonna go through the different categories like we did with water. So this one says, how much will Philip pay for electricity if his household uses 170? So 170 is over here, but you need to start here. 
So in block one, we go from zero to 120, so we'll use all of that, and then we'll only use 50 in this one, so that the total is 170. So now you're gonna say 120 multiplied by 112. Now this already includes VAT, okay? Now the question here didn't say include or exclude, but that means just include the VAT, so just leave it as it is. Okay, so it's that one, and then we only using 50 inside this category, so 50 plus, not plus, 50 multiplied by 135, and so this first one would be 13,440. Remember, this is cents. Okay, that's cents. And then this next one is 6750, and that's also in cents. Okay, and so if you had to go add these two numbers together, so you just plus them, you end up with 20,190 cents. But now, when we give the total, you want to give it in rand. So remember that, it, that in one rand, it's 100 cents, okay? So to go from cents to rand, you divide by 100. So we're going to divide that by 100. And so there we get 201 rand. When it just says 0.9 like that on your calculator, you must always say 0.90, okay? Okay, um, like that. So that is how much uh, Philip will pay. Okay, this one says that this is the price excluding VAT this time, and it says how much will Tabung pay VAT inclusive? So they want us to add the VAT, don't forget that. For electricity, if his household uses 238 kilowatts. So 238 is over here, but we start over here first, so 120, then to go from 120 to 180, that'll be 60, and then to go from 180, oh, now we're only going from 180 up to 238. So if you minus these two numbers, you end up with 58, okay? So we're only going to use 58 in this category so that if you add these numbers together, um, 58, it gives you this part over here. And so now we just go do the same thing. So it's 120 multiplied by 112, uh, 60 multiplied by 135, and then 58 multiplied by 148. And if we had to go calculate all of that, this once again is 13,440, 8,100, and 8584. Okay, and then we just go add all of those numbers together, and that gives us 30,000, whoops, not rand, it's 30,124. Uh, then I want to convert that into rand, so that'll be um, 301 rand and 24. And then I can add VAT by multiplying by 1.15. So 301.24 multiplied by 1.15. If you wanted to change all of these to, if you wanted to include VAT on all of these first, you can do that. Or maybe you wanted to change all of these to RAND first. It doesn't matter, as long as you add VAT you can either add VAT to all of these ones individually, or you can add VAT to all of it at once at the end. It all gives you the same value at the end, okay? And so this would be, uh, if we round to two decimals, 346.43, if you round to two decimals. So we're gonna do one more electricity tariff, and then we're just gonna, I wanna show you a special one over here, which is from an exam paper, and then we will be done with this lesson. Okay, so well done for those, well, those of you that are watching right now and you've made it this far. So let's have a look. This is excluding VAT. Now, how much will Anton pay, including VAT, if his household uses 302. Okay, so 302 is down here somewhere. So we know that we start at the top. So we're gonna use 120 in this one. We're gonna use all the way from 120 to 180, so that's 60. From 180 to 250, that's 70. And then if you had to add these numbers together, that'll be 250. So to go from 250 to 302, you could say 302 minus 250, and that's gonna give you 52, so we're gonna use 52 in this category. Now, if you had to go add all of those numbers together, it must give you 302. Then you know you've done it correctly. And so now we just go multiply 
um, like normal. So 120 multiplied by 112, 60 multiplied by 135, uh, 70 multiplied by 148, and 52 multiplied by 185. I'll quickly go get the totals for us. Now, if we had to go add up all of these numbers, so we're gonna add this one, this one, and this one. And so that gives us 41, 5, 20. So 4, 1, 5, 20. And then we can divide that by 100 because that's in cents, but we want it in rands. So that would be 415 rand and 20 cents, but that's excluding VAT. So to now include VAT, we would multiply by 1.15 and we end up with 477.48. So 477 rand and 48 cents. So at the beginning of this lesson, I told you that you should stick around to the exam question, and this is it. And if you are here right now, awesome stuff, well done. Uh, maybe you skipped to this question, I don't know, but <laughs> you're here, so that's all that matters, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, I want you to first realize that VAT is 14%. This was a slightly older exam paper, maybe uh, like four years ago, five years ago, um, where VAT was then, or, or I, don't, I can't even remember when VAT was changed, but VAT used to be 14%. So we're just gonna use VAT 14%. If you use 15%, the numbers won't work. So this question says, show how the amount of 136.93 is calculated. Okay, so ignore this part and ignore this part. Now, it tells us that this is a water tariff, okay? So you know earlier I showed you water tariffs and what we have is the block, okay, or like, um, not block, it's usually electricity, we call it a block, but you know, the first category, second category, third category, and then we've got the price per kiloliter over there. Now, in this one, they do it a little bit different, and this is how they do it in real life, okay? So you know, in my examples that I showed you earlier, I would say something like, um, this would be the kiloliters, and then this would be the rand per kiloliter, for example. And then I would say like zero up to eight, and then the next category would be eight up to 12, and then 12 up to 17, for example, okay? So what that means is that in this category, you are using eight. In this category, you are using four, because eight going to 12 is four, and then in this category, you're going from 12 to 17, so you're using five. So these tables, they don't show you this part, they're only showing you those parts, okay? So we can see that in this first category, they're using six. In the second category, they use four, and then 10, and then 10, and then anything more than 30. And then this here is now, they don't tell you what the units are, which is quite weird, but this is measured, or this is the price in rand per kiloliter, and there's no VAT, so it's VAT excluded. X excluded okay so yeah so that and and so i hope you understand that so um this would be 11.91 rand but you must remember to add all these little parts i don't know why they add all these little things sense only goes up to there but anyways um so so if we had to go calculate they tell us on this invoice that this person um thomas is using 10 kiloliters. So they're gonna use, we always start at the top, so they use six over there, and then, and then they use four over there. Now six plus four is already 10, and so we stop over there. So then we can do the normal thing that we'd normally do. So you'd say six multiplied by 11.917550, and then four multiplied by 12.151250, and so, we're then gonna go calculate them and we're gonna add them all together. I'm gonna to quickly do that. And if we add that all together, well, we fir you first need to multiply this one and then multiply this one and then add those two answers together. Um, so let me actually write the answers for you for each one. Okay, so don't round off just yet. That'll be 71.5053 and then 48.6. Oh, 5. Okay, then if you had to go add these two numbers together, it'll be um, 120.11. Now, that's how they got that number, okay? But that's without VAT. Now what I want you to do is add the VAT in, okay? Because remember, these are the prices, VAT excluded. But now remember that this one's 14% VAT, so we don't use 1.15, we use 1.14, okay? 
And so if we multiply this by 1.14, we end up with, if you round to two decimal places, 136 rand and 93 cents. And there we can see it. Pretty cool, hey? So this part is a bit weird, but I think from all the examples we did in this lesson, you should have a fairly good idea of how this all comes together. Thanks for watching, guys.